And like we said, it's about that time. Goodbye flip flops. Hello, pencil boxes and inflation. Back to school shopping surveys show that parents are cutting back in other areas so they can afford the new backpacks and blue jeans. Before you head back to class 12 on your sides, Marilyn Moritz, though, shares some ways to shop smart. In the back to school aisle, so we have five, four. families are getting a crash course in economics. This stuff adds up. Notebooks, folders, uh, markers, and pencils. Yeah. Brianna Eilers is shopping for four kids. This year I get a locker. Third grade to high school. But it's, you know, two to three hundred dollars, like for four kids with school supplies. And, just the supplies. Yeah, just the supplies. New shoes for each, and you get the picture. With inflation at a four decade high, even paper is costing more. The retail industry expects a family with kids kinder through 12th grade will spend an average $864 for back to school. That's $15 more than last year, $167 more than 2019, pre pandemic. So, what can you do to save money? Well, simple strategies can be obvious, but they work. First, shop the sales. These crayons on sale for 50 cents, but for even less money, go for the store brand. These are 25 cents. Retailers expect lower price store brands will be in demand. These glue sticks are only a quarter. OK, so that's a good bargain for them because, you know, the prices have gone up. Next, take stock of what you already have. Well, I'm that mom that we definitely went through last year's school supplies and um, we said this folder looks great. This um, notebook, it was only two pages used in it. We'll reuse that. Money advisors also suggest you shop with a list, split bulk sales with friends, ask about student discounts on tech. Buy only what you need and wait on the bigger sales. And shop tax-free August 5th through 7th. You'll save about $8 for every $100 you spend on most school supplies, clothing, and yes, new shoes. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.